He has 55 fights, 34 wins, two draws, and 19 losses. This is his first fight here at Max, and he trains and fights at a family Muay Thai. And his opponent in the red corner, Surab Sotoroha. His real name, Prakrong Chatri. He's originally from Uran Thani. He's 26 years old, stands at 166 centimeters. He has 63 fights, 41 wins, three draws, and 19 losses. This is also his first fight here at Max. And he trains and fights out of Saw Tara Ha Jim. Just wait for both fighters to have the Mong Kongs removed. Get a final blessing from their trainers. The Mong Kongs, part of the Muay Thai garb, you'll see. All the Muay Thai fighters wear, along with the Pajiets. The Mong Kong usually uh, special to each gym. A lot of times each gym will have their own Mong Kong. Blessed by the local temple. Here we go, round one. Okani coming out very aggressive. Almost has a sort of K1 sort of style, the way he's sort of bouncing around on his feet. Yeah, very in and out. You see him there jumping in, attacking, and then trying to get back out. But Sir Rob looking very composed. So far, handling the pressure well. A lot of times these ties will let you do all that bouncing around, let you fatigue yourself, and they'll just wait for you, grab you in the clinch, or just catch you sort of leaping in. So you gotta be careful of that. There's nothing wrong with it, but you gotta know when to when when to do it. Pick and choose your, your moments. Yeah. Also, it's just a lot of that movement is just wasted energy, bouncing around for no reason, and really not doing anything effective where you see, in this case, Sir Rob, very composed, standing in one place, not wasting a lot of energy, just Picking the shots, trying to slow down the force that's in front of him. Ab absolutely. Into the clinch, you gotta imagine Sir Rob gonna have the upper hand in the clinch. Burkinay Ber showing that K1 style. Probably gonna wanna keep the fight on the outside. Yeah, I think so. It does, he doesn't seem too uh, well versed in, uh, at, at this particular time uh, about what's going on inside of the clinch range. Uh, so you're absolutely right. He definitely wants to keep it on the outside. And he's also having success there. He's coming in with a good uh, sort of leaping left hand uh, to set up that right, straight right down the pipe. There you see. But at this moment, he's a little too wild. You kind of got to wonder if... Uh, Sir Rob, it's just sort of just waiting, letting him uh, get his stuff off, and then just looking for an opening to sit something right down the middle. And though A attacking that lead leg. And here's you see, here's where you see the difference in the clinch where Burkinay is just using his power. He's trying to lay on top of Sir Rob. Where Sir Rob there is trying to bring his leg up, use technique. Take some big shots though now. Sir Rob in trouble. Oh wow. Referee not going to give him the stand the gate, but very close to being knocked down there. And again, Burkney going in for the kill. It's all over him. You got to you got to wonder if he doesn't if Burkney doesn't get a stoppage, how much is this wild swing and taken out of him? Yeah, you see already starting to slow down on the back foot. Sharp elbow lands though right across the temple there on Sir Rob. Now a moment ago we saw, we saw Sir Rob doing a, a very smart strategy. Pumping a straight jab out down the middle. That is the best way to stop an aggressive wild swinging fighter. So here we go. Second round. Good. I like what Sir Rob's doing right now. Just keeping the jab out there, keeping it composed. Good low kick from him. He's 
Straight punch always beats the roundabout all day. Again, just trying to stalemate him there in the clinch. Referee gonna give Birkenay a warning. Birkenay still doesn't look like he's kind of he's settled down just yet. He's really, I don't want to say hyperactive, but almost has a sort of bouncy, like waiting to just kind of confuse as to what the technique to throw at what time. Yeah, still looking for that one big shot. Which fighters like this can be very dangerous because you have no idea what they're thinking because sometimes they don't know what they're thinking. <laughs> and you end up getting caught with something that you didn't expect. Another big like shot that. there. <laughs> it's, it's almost like a running joke around the gyms as well. Is it, it's more dangerous to spar a new guy than it is uh, an, an experienced fighter because you just don't know what they're going to do. Absolutely. Like you said. Both fighters now mixing it up in the clinch. Neither though doing too much damage to the other. Exchanging low kicks there, but Sir Rob keeping his arms out there. Got to be very careful. He already tasted the power there of Birkenay. Good low kick from Birkenay. Or Sir Rob, excuse me. You see Birkenay looking over to his corner. Trying to get some advice here to figure out this puzzle that's standing in front of him. Right now, all he's trying to do is just let the hands go. And, and he's landing with them, um, especially the left hand. I'm, I'm surprised that Sir Rob is not staying uh, disciplined with his jab and teeth. Uh, he's doing a beautiful job of kicking the leg out from Birkenay. But I, I like to see more uh, straight line attacks down the middle to keep Birkenay at bay. And as for Birkenay, kind of just keep doing what you're doing. That's far it's working for you. Again, both fighters into the clinch. Referee, we're gonna separate them, try to keep the action going. There's Sir Rob now, starting to use that jab, feeding that left elbow through as well. Birkenay holding his balance in the clinch. corner urging for him to let his hands go so far that's where he's had the most success in the round two balancing when it you know rattle, rattles the equilibrium sir rob now starting to change up tactics going to the body kick and it's birkenay who closes him down and tries to get some shots off there in the clinch yeah, it just doesn't seem as if Sir Rob has found the answer. I mean, momentarily, he was doing well um, in the last round, coming out with uh, some straight jabs, but he just is not main, maintaining discipline as we see Birkenay hit him again with a right hand. Birkenay showing no respect as well for Sir Rob's shots, making it that much more difficult because Birkenay is just marching right through everything. I will say Sir Rob uh, must have a chin made of vibranium <laughs> because uh, he is eating these shots and it doesn't seem to phase him. Sir Rob now starting to slow down. He's calling on Birkenay, but so far it's been Birkenay doing most of the attacking. Looks like Sir Rob wants to fight from within the clinch. Yeah, it's good right now. At this point, it's going to be a safest bet. Uh, he just hasn't found an answer to uh, Birkenay's uh, looping punches right now. Yeah, Birkenay starting to slow down. This is where Sir Rob should start to turn it up. Yeah, in between rounds, his, his corner was actually calling for Birkenay to throw a straight right to the body. And he decides to throw it to the head and it lands. So. He's somewhat following his corner's advice, keeping straight shots. He's doing a great job uh, mixing it up now between the looping shots and the straight shots. And Sir Rob showing a ton of heart, taking those shots well. Not doing him any justice on the scorecards, though. Not going to get any points for heart. Sir Rob trying to clamp down on that head. 
drive those knees in. Coming down to our final 40 seconds. I, I will say I am surprised at uh, the amount of uh, punishment Sir Rob has taken in staying in this fight. I mean, he has eaten some very clean shots from Birkenau. You see him there almost taking a knee on the chin as well. Like again. those. And he's just hanging on by the ropes right now. And again, he seems unfazed. Manages to dig deep and pull out those two knees. Just he's reaching too far for the clinch. He's leaving himself open for those shots from Birkenay. End of the final round. There we see more of those loopy shots from Birkenay. Not the most technical, but definitely effective. Scoring right on the chin there, knocking Sir Rob's head back like it was on a hinge. They're trying to go in for the kill, but Sir Rob's showing a ton of heart. See him there trying to hold on in the clinch. So let's go to the ring announcer for the official decision. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, what a crazy fight. And now, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard for the winner! Blue China! Blue China! Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back with the short break. Next fight, our man Iwan tonight. Thailand takes on Algeria. This is my time. Fight!